Shoot, Byron. All right, three, two, one. Coach Tucker, 32-21 victory over LC Bird tonight. Or sorry, today, battle for Chester. Just tell me how you feel right now. You know, that was a good old school football game. You know, those guys, they run the ball well with anybody we're going to see probably the rest of the year. Um, you know, Coach Bland has got that defense rolling over there. You know, for our guys to come out and respond back to some adversity was good for us. Um, they did a good job containing Brandon, but, you know, like I said, when that happens, you put the ball in the hands of 12 and 1 and 5, and like I said, just let your athletes do work. Um, our line was banged up this week. We had a lot of guys out with the flu and got a couple back yesterday. And like I said, we, we pieced it together. And like I said, proud of those guys up front. And then defense. You know, they, they just keep coming to play each week, man. They bend, but they don't break. They just keep play touchdown right there. But for the most part, like I said, they did a good job of containing us and containing them and doing you know, what dealt us. Ethan made some magical plays there down the stretch, man. Talk about his ability to create something out of nothing sometimes. Um, you know, he's a special athlete. Like I said, you know, this guy comes and came around a couple years ago as an eighth grader. I wish he could have played with Chris Tyree and Josiah Williams. Um, but again, you know, he's just a natural born leader and, and the kids follow him and he's gritty, he's tough. Um, when he makes mistakes, he doesn't get down on himself. He just comes back and battles the next play. Coach, you guys, I mean, you know, when we were looking at the season earlier this year, I mean, we couldn't have imagined 9 0 Thomas Dale versus 9 0 Dinwiddie. Mm -hmm. Final week of the season, heading into the playoffs. I mean, it's going to be a hell of a game. And, and, and just talk to us about the preparation for that. and and getting your guys ready to go down the road and to play that team. You know, it's a short week turnaround for us, but like I said, our guys are going to um, you know, rest up tomorrow and then, like I said, come ready to work again on Monday. Um, you know, I think Billy and I still take a lot of pride in that Central District Championship. And uh, we talk about it year in and year out. You know, that's our first goal every year is to win the old Central District so that when we get into the region, we're on a good note. So it's going to be a hell of a battle um, down in Denwood. I love playing down there. It's one of the greatest atmospheres. Uh, if you ain't got your ticket check, go ahead and get them now because it's going to be a packed house. C.J. Malazzo seemed all over the field defensively. How big was he for you guys on that side um, of the ball? You know, C.J. stepped up this year big time for us. You know, we lost Maddox Lee early in the year. and. Um, CJ's kind of become our, our inside linebacker, you know, leader. And then, you know, Zachariah Sands. I mean, that kid, you know, was an outside linebacker. We put him in middle to replace Maddox. And like I said, you just got to gotta love his fire and his intensity. And like I said, just the whole defense as a whole, man. We, we stepped up and played some good football today. That moment at the end there, you and Troy decide for you guys all to pray together. This is a rivalry game. What does that moment mean to you guys to all come together and pray together? You know, at the it's about time like we got back to doing that. Because, yeah. like I said, for a couple years there, it got a little bit ugly between the two schools, and it shouldn't be like that. These kids grew up together, um, they play together, and like I said, we as coaches got to do a better job to make sure we get our kids coached up to play with emotion, but play within the whistle. And then at the end of the game, celebrate with one another because they're going to go pretty far in the playoffs. They're going to be able to run the football. And then, like I said, same thing with us. We'll take care of business and make a little run in the playoffs.